Okay, so let's talk a bit about doing scan planes. Scan planes is creating an origin and then creating a set of sectional planes inside of CAD space and then being able to pull the microscribe stylus to and fro and as it pierces every one of the planes it will collect a data point. And the nice thing about that is at the end of the day you will have a series of points that are planar that are easy to go back and create a spline on. So let's talk about this for a few minutes. The scan planes icon, third from left to right, second row. And what it's going to want you to do first is declare the, the plane and the axis of the direction. Again, let's look at our help menu about scan planes. Uh, scan planes is very in-depth as far as its help menu and how to set that information up. Um, so read through this carefully. It can be a little tricky until you first get your get it uh, uh, the understanding for it. So how to set up scan planes. This is a great picture of how to take the first few points. So be the first point we'll take, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point. Those points are going to help establish the plane and then the axis of the direction. So and then when we scan we're going to end up with a series of points that we can then go back and use to create the geometry. All right, so let's take a look at how do we do that. So we've got a, an object here on our desktop. Uh, we're going to create the, the reference for the scan plane first. So we'll bring our microscribe down into position. Let's create this as our first point. We'll go ahead and take our second point. Take our third point. Now that constitutes that plane, so now it wants to know the axis of that plane. So we'll take our fourth point. Now how many planes do we want to put in this frame or area that we place? Let's put 25 planes in there. We'll go ahead and say OK. So we're ready to create that data, and again we, we toggle this on and off here with this button. But let, let's bring into view a piece of software called MasterCam. And we're going to utilize MasterCam to collect this point data so that you can see it develop on the screen. Notice I've already predispositioned Muse for MasterCam. So I'm going to tell MasterCam to go ahead and go into point mode. And then I'm going to bring my microscribe over to my product. Now keep in mind again, I'm utilizing the button to trigger the device. I'm going to push the button and hold it. So the first thing we'll do is start collecting some points and you'll see that every time I trip one of those 25 planes that MasterCam will plop a point onto the drawing screen. So let's just get a reference frame for the area that we're working in. Okay, so I'm going to let go of the button for just a second. I'm going to go ahead and tell MasterCam to fit this drawing just so you get a better view of it and we'll just continue to collect data. I can let the button go and stop or I can push the button to collect more data. So let's go ahead and collect some more data and I'm just dragging the stylus along the product back and forth along the surface perpendicular to the planes so that I can just start collecting point data. You see the point data collecting on the screen. Let's get a little more data and then we'll stop and talk about it for a second. So we'll collect some more data. Let's go halfway up this mask. Okay, so we'll stop right there and just take a look for a second. So I'm going to grab my mouse and inside of MasterCam I'm just going to rotate my view just so I can start to see. Now if I bring this a little more linear you'll see that you'll see the planes where these points are developing. All these points are straight up and down those planes, which is great. So you can see it starting to develop. Well, let's get some more data in this region. So we'll come over here and start collecting some more data. And you can scrub back and forth to collect more data. Maybe you want your planes to be denser. Uh, then you would have to go back and change the, the amount of planes that are in your particular setting. So we keep going. Let's uh, drag back and forth. We can go over and grab the data on the, on the second side if we wish. So this gives you an idea of how to take scan plane information or to get point clouds. This is the beginning of a, a point cloud without actually utilizing 
you know, a laser scanner to gather that information. So, and it can be very helpful for folks that are doing a fair amount of geometric digitizing, but occasionally need to get some surface information. So let me finish this little bit of scrubbing up and I'll give you an idea of what this point cloud is looking like. So we probably want to spend more time and get more point density but this will give you an understanding of what scan planes is all about. So there's a beginning understanding of the, that point cloud. Like I said, the nice thing about this point cloud is, it, is it's very linear. Uh, so these points are all based on a 2D plane that we can then go back and then just say, okay, well, let's, uh, let's scrub a 2D plane in there. So this would uh, conclude looking at scan planes.